You guys were watching School of Rock on a sleepover? Yeah, we watched School of Rock and we're like, that looks so easy. Like, so yeah. I was like, this guy just picked up a guitar. Yeah. And he just <laughs> 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 oh. I must be so lucky because I got you twice in one week. Because I met you for the first time <laughs> on, was it on Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday night yeah. at the Rolling Stone Awards. It was, yeah, twice in one week, so I don't know how I got so lucky, but I really knew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of, we were kind of hoping you'd forget about it because yeah. we were so drunk. I don't know if you remember, but you were like, <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't. <laughs> you said to me, you were like, um, Oh, you're getting married because we're talking about my wedding, and you told yes. me that you were going to be my wedding band. That was me. Oh yes. my god, yes. 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 Was you? Was that you? Was that you? I told you that we would do it for free. We'll pay you. Kiss covers. covers. If that's what you want. Kiss covers. Mm. I no, I want your own. Oh. We play one <laughs> kiss cover in that. One kiss cover. I mean, yeah, 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 go yeah, for yeah. it. Whatever you want. You got to do. No, I was going to say I'm not going to hold you to it. Oh, I'm not going. If you want to come and play, obviously. Thank you. We've already got, got teenage dads playing a set. Oh, oh nice. So I was like, we've got, and then we'll get Teen Jesus, and then yeah. we'll just need to get Teenage Jones. And, and we can nice. have the trifecta. Yeah. 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 And I can start a super band just for the ceremony. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Together. The orchestra. Oh, my so God. I always, for some reason, was convinced that, like, Violet Sofa's reunion show would be my wedding. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I would notice while we were at the award show, like the way that you interacted with each other and even just seeing you like rest your head on Anna's <laughs> shoulder just then, like it's such a beautiful thing to, yeah. <laughs> but it is, it's such a beautiful thing to observe and to watch. But I guess I was wondering when you go into the studio and you record um, how the, maybe the relationship or the dynamic of relationship shifts, like do you kind of put on a work front or is it, does it always kind of stay similar as best friends? Hmm. I think sometimes we put on a work front, mm. but that it, sometimes we're just silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like because we've all known each other since we were like seven, and so I think that like because obviously recording is fun, but it can be really stressful. And I think when it's stressful, then we can read the grumpiness really mm. well. Like if one of us is like, then we're all like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> over here. Yeah. I feel like it's yeah. kind of I don't know. I think that those things kind of go hand in hand when you're like working with your friends yeah mm -hmm. and then the work mode is like it's contextual to the friendship yeah i feel like they <laughs> read each other very it's... well to know like yeah yeah because yeah. some of the songs we would just do like with like all of us in the room basically mm -hmm. and then other times it's like okay guys get yeah, right yeah. Now. yeah. I feel like yeah. it takes me like doing like trying to record guitar and, like if i do it three times wrong then i'm like Everyone get the fuck yeah. out, like, yeah. leave. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, now I can do it. Do you think that's, it. like, pressure? Like, you feel pressure from people watching you? It's funny, because I don't feel any pressure from you guys. Yeah. And then just, it's, I don't know, being to see you, which is not good. Yeah. Ever. And yeah. also, sometimes you want to get, like, kind of angry and freak out by yourself, you know? Like, if you're not playing the part, right, and want to just have, like, a mini... Totally. Um, exactly that. Totally. Right? Totally. Like, yeah. We're Oscar Dawson. Except for Oscar <laughs> Dawson. He can stay. <laughs> our producer, he yes. always... He sees right. us at our absolute worse yeah. yeah i feel like that's a special relationship with musicians and their producers is they do really get to know you and like those <laughs> those moments because it is it's such a vulnerable space to be in to be recording and writing and all of that sort of thing like sure. i don't really know i mean i have never recorded an album or a song or a second of a song you should yeah. oh it's coming don't worry time. guys don't worry i'm gonna play my own wedding no <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. no but it's like i don't know so i feel like not many people see that vulnerability and that side of everything so for a producer they would yeah sure it's um yeah i feel like he he cops a lot your album i love you it's fucking sick Thank i don't know why you. i did that that's yeah. pretty, like we're not gonna do that again um, but, <laughs> but it is it's amazing um and i was uh reading like a few reviews and things on it and something that i found um that i hadn't really thought about is like the laughter that's scattered throughout the album and it's like you can hear the joy that it was to record and and so I think I want to start off by saying like you really can hear the joy and it's a really amazing listen and congratulations on That's it. So nice. Yeah of course I um I was also you know listening to it and like really kind of digging into the lyrics and things and there is like tones and things of like maybe toxic relationships or antisocial behaviors and I was wondering what 
what led you to wanting to write about those topics? I feel like it was like, um, cause we didn't really go into it being like, okay, we need to write an album. Yeah. It was like, we were just all kind of writing songs and then we were like, we should probably release an album. And then those were the songs that we had, mm -hmm. you know, like um, yeah. I feel like it wasn't kind of a conscious, like, you know, like when people do like a concept album and they're like, no, no, well, it's one thing. Story, though, yeah, time. for sure. Yeah. But also because we wrote all those songs between like being like like sixteen, seventeen, and then like twenty two. So I think mm -hmm. that's all kind of such a formative few years that that's mm -hmm. kind of um, that's just what we were writing about naturally. Because mm -hmm. you're like you know little baby teenagers going through like mm -hmm. their most like breakups and stuff, and like then touring and it's yeah. I don't know, I think it just kind of naturally happened like yeah. that, right? It's also funny because a lot of the songs, like, and everybody would have half of it, like the chorus and the verse, while we're like going through a breakup, yeah. like having yeah. a hard time, yeah. and then we'd like write the other half of the song while we were like <laughs> really long. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Do you think, like, <laughs> because you wrote it over such a long period of time, that you can see like your own personal growth on the album as well? Definitely, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. also why we wanted to have like um, all the kind of like talking and like laughing and stuff through it. Like, I think, like, um, we kind of wanted it to feel like we just were like sat down and like pressed record and then just like played the whole mm. thing mm. like start to finish and then yeah. you know you can kind of hear us like I also feel like every time I listen to like a band and I can hear like little like conversations or like laughter or like something it sort of makes you feel like you're a bit more a part of 100%. it 100% mm. which is like really cute and nice there's a stroke song that I love I can't think of exactly which one it is but there's one and it's like at the end you can hear Julian go like okay let's do that one again. oh my god what's it's the demo for you only live once yeah that's what it is yeah. it's the demo for you try anything once and he's yes. like this is yeah. I have made myself a shirt last year it's like this little baby tee that I got from Kmart and I got glitter glue and I wrote Mrs. Julian Casablanca <laughs> and then I tagged him when I posted it on Instagram and then he watched all my stories no. I've got a Louis he got me a um my partner's boyfriend this so my partner's <laughs> brother <laughs> wait my partner okay sorry my partner's brother he got me a t-shirt that says drums please fab from the oh God, you know yes. yeah and it's yeah. like my favorite t-shirt i'm gonna wear it on an episode of laundry actually you yeah should go, please you should yeah. put it on this one well i can't find it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i'll make you a glitter glue one of them oh, Matt, there we go. so when you go in you write this album you've got um you know stories from here stories from here whatever you don't ever did you discuss and brainstorm how to i guess maybe even lay it out from start to finish we actually kind of did it we actually did it we had all these demos and then i think we went in and we were like well, salt and lights out of finish, we should probably record those. And then we mm. did. And then we're like, okay, <laughs> what else is kind of done? Yeah. How of why we recorded salt was like, we just had gone on like a tour with the Grogans mm. and we just wanted to like hang out more. So like, we should put them on the song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were like, what are you guys doing yeah. like, tomorrow? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. 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 We like finished the tour and we're like, oh, uh, so like, Next week we're recording, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> That's cool. I was like, because I have this song yeah. that, like, I've, like, had in my voice memos for, like, three years. I was like, what if you also sang on it? That's really And, like, because we made, like, all of them come as well, when it was, like, kind of just, like, Quinn singing mainly and the rest were just, like, you just have to stay here for two days and hang out. Yeah. 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 It was so fun. We trapped them into it. It's yeah. great. Yeah. 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 And now they have to be our friends forever. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to start out with, you, you, Scarlett, wrote a lot of the songs at the start, is that right? Yeah, so we definitely, like, before the album, um, we didn't really do any, like, writing all together. So yeah. it would be, like, um, a lot of the time, me and Anna were, like, Jada with a few as well. Like, we'd kind of write them at home by ourselves, like, playing guitar, just, mm -hmm. like, singing, and then take it to the band and be like, mm -hmm. yeah. play some drums. <laughs> 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 but then for the album it was the first time that we really like tried to be more of a, a band yeah <laughs> do the job yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. as a as a group so we actually just did one last week too but um we've been going on these really nice little like riding trips where just the four of us go to like a kind of remote location where we won't be distracted by the outside world and we just like write for a week so yeah, we were just in the blue mountains last week or well this week really yeah um and then when we were doing the album we went to like somewhere near picton like uh -huh. down kind of you know yeah, was that general direction i think yeah. in winter it was, <laughs> it was like it was pretty cold i'd say maybe winter that was the first time that we were like trying to write as a group so we would like yeah go and do it yeah. together in like yeah these cute little places yeah and, um and then we yeah. did like so we like obviously like writing sessions and stuff like yes. we collabs collab um <laughs> 
Like, I think the reason we wanted to work with Oscar for the album is because we did the, like, Lights Out with him. Yeah. You know, we wrote Lights Out with him, so yeah. it was, like, really easy to just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I like, Oscar is from Holy Holy, for context. Mm -hmm. He's the best guitarist in Australia. I say Arguably. In Australia. <laughs> Arguably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was really nice. Like, kind of working with each other more and then working yeah. with, like, other people more, too. Totally. Yeah. 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 Big mix. I mean, Coltrane. Yeah, yeah. And it feels like a pretty good mix of all of us and more. I think that's also just that on a lot of the songs we're all singing, which is like first time ever that we've done that. So like you can hear us all talking and you can hear us all like musically and then all of our voices yeah. too. Like that's kind of nice. Minded. A lot of variety also with like Neve's song as well. Um, and that, yeah, I feel like there's just like a big like couple of extremes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the whole album kind of feels like a charcuterie board. Like, you know. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. I really like yeah. that, a charcuterie board. <laughs> you guys were watching School of Rock on a sleepover. Yes. And kind of that's how the whole idea came to be of forming the band, correct? Yes. Correct. Tell me a little bit about that night. Backstory, like me and Jada became best friends when we were like nine and Anna and Neve were best friends since they were like what, Six four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a very long ago. And then we kind of joined forces in like year nine and we had this sleepover at Neve's house, all four of us. Um also. Plus plus a couple others. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we watched School of Rock and we're like that looks so easy. Like, so yeah. I was like, this guy just picked up a guitar. Yeah. And he just, you know, <laughs> the power of cinema. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. How hard can it be? And then they've already played drums for a bit, and Anna was born with the voice, mm. the voice of the king. <laughs> <laughs> and then we and Jen, well, we actually had just watched Angus Lums and Perfect Snow being right before that too. And so then Jada was like, did you know bass players have really big hands? And she's like, I've got really big hands, so I'll play bass. I'm to do it. And then I played cello, and for some reason I was like, you were just like, I just flip it. Just flip <laughs> cello, and you got a guitar? Turn up the quote. But I played guitar either way. And so the next day we raided all of Newstad's musical equipment, and we learnt Big Jet playing. Mm. Really? That was the first yes. song you learnt first together? Song, yeah. Yeah. Angus Mark and Julia are in the room with us right now. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've got yeah. awards for like, yeah. please play Big Jet playing. Yeah. Please. Yeah. And um, I did it. What would you say to children now that maybe are wanting to do what you did if you could give advice um i feel like the hardest part is like just actually like just giving it up yeah. 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 yeah like it's really not that difficult yeah. you know you just gotta like find a couple friends yeah pick it up yeah to it for a bit yeah, yeah. Well, well we only like i mean i never wanted to do music ever i just thought that it would be fun to, yeah like, hang out with you guys in <laughs> pubs yeah. where like, you got three like it was so much yeah. fun yeah, yeah. Yeah, even like I remember thinking when I we first started the band, like because um, I hadn't played any like string instruments or like like guitar or bass before that, and I remember like picking up a bass and being like, "Oh, I'm too old to start playing." You were doing that. Fifteen? Oh my god! Yeah. But like I don't know. I feel like it's just like it's never oh too old. Oh my god! Actually, yeah, it's gonna go. For a while, Scarlett, you weren't touring with the band, but you're yeah. back touring now. So I'm still not like actually touring to yeah i just been doing like occasional shows um when my body permits uh -huh. <laughs> also for people listening that it's a chronic illness that you're mm. dealing then that's yeah. why you can't be yeah, yeah. okay yeah. yeah and how's that like affect the dynamics of the band it's definitely pretty strange because yeah. i haven't spent more than like a week apart from them since i was like 15 yeah so it's like i mean super weird but i think we're also kind of at the point now where it's so busy and it's been so long that it's like it's fine. Definitely, like, the writing weeks are really good. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah. is, like, I think if we weren't doing those, then it would feel, like, a bit weird. Yeah. And I was but so yeah. strange, like, before we saw you, like, last, that started last week or whatever. And it's um, like, four months. We hadn't seen each other yeah. since, like, the Foo Fighters show. Like, yeah. in December. Yeah. Crazy. That's and I was like, I don't even remember that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lack in my memory. And you all live, well, you guys, so you guys live in Wollongong? So, I used to live in Wollongong. Yeah. Jada yeah. lives in Wollongong. You live in Nee. Yes, in Wollongong, yeah. right. Yeah. And yeah. then you guys, where do you both live? I live in Canberra. And I live in Melbourne. Okay, so how does that work, living in different states? Like, having to, is it really difficult? Um, or? <laughs> I think I... You go. Yeah, I feel like we're just kind of doing a lot that, like, we see each other all the time anyway and then, like, practice when we can. Um, yeah. But we're just, like, doing so many shows and stuff that it kind of doesn't even 
I don't know. We just all fly to one place and then we're there. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I like, I hands down, like, we live so far apart, but I hands down see you more than I'd see anyone, anyone. else in my life. <laughs> like, like, I think uh, I see you more than I see my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, really. Three minutes away from I think I've seen maybe, like, three friends over the past month. I've seen you maybe 30 times. <laughs> How come you decided to move away, like, and not stay kind of in the same place? Well, I think, like, because we're all from Canberra. Yeah. And then Jada moved to Melbourne, like, Spur of the moment. Yeah, yeah. she was a little baby. baby. Gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god. And then we were like, oh, true. This is like crazy. How will we rehearse? But then she was just coming up a lot mm. on like the little on the V line train coming up, and it was oh really gosh. easy. We're really yeah. Yeah. Wow. crazy era. And then our managers were like, please, we all live in the same place. Yeah. And we were like, no. And I think um, though because like we started the band when we were so young, and then as soon as we finished school, we just started touring. Like, mm, not like mm. full time, but pretty intensely. Like, like every week um, we would be away. Yeah, yeah. and obviously so much fun, but like that's also like very culminative years of like your early life, and we were kind of like very like, this is what we want to do, and it's amazing, but we're also going to make sure that we have like, like our own personal time mm-hmm. in our early 20s to like move over sure. one movement yeah. and to what we want to do and like not like let the band dictate every yeah. part of our life yeah. otherwise I'd probably go to resent it but then well, now sure. it's like something that like I still love doing so much because I don't yeah. know we have a sick of us yeah I think they could work yeah 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 I think that we were just like yeah we all just kind of wanted to move to other places as you do when you're like 18 19 yeah. you're like I hate this place I want to get out and then I think like if we hadn't done that, then we'd be like struggling now. Mm, but, yeah, that okay. makes sense. Yeah, and you need your own sense of personal it. identity, like exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially so, those formative young years. Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I think also because we've always spent so much time together, and then because we were touring together and everything, I feel like it was super important to be kind of like independent from each other a little mm. bit, like moving to a new place and not having the rest of the band that evacuate. Like we were even saying the other day, we we're like if we like in high school, like it was so easy because we we're like. If one of us is invited to a party, we are all invited. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, 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 yeah like a little yeah. pack, and then it was yeah. so easy to like get by, and then you kind of have to get out of your comfort zone in your in that way. Mm. Do you think people knew that as well that you came as a foursome? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, like I think people still know so that if we're ever yeah. in the same place, they'll be like, yeah, that's like, pretty beautiful. Like, yeah. You recently toured with the vaccines. Yeah, and, that's true. Yeah, we've yeah. heard you, you guys toured with the vaccines. <laughs> um, was that your first time overseas or do you? Uh, no, it was actually our third time okay. in a year, which is Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 Did you tour with them on the same bus or like how did Not they? Right. <laughs> that would have been insane. But we were like in a little van, like trailing yeah. behind. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, hey, guys, wait up. <laughs> They had like, their double decker. Yeah. They had the sleeper. Did you not? Did you have a sleeper bus? No, no, no. Had no, the like sprinter van. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. And with the vaccines, was it? And was that one of your first biggest supported tours? Um, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We just done the DMAs tour last year, which was kind of like a similar size yeah. in Australia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, we haven't actually done that many like big, like big support to it. Yeah, it was also yeah. definitely the most like hands-on tour we've done like with yeah. like, back-to-back shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, I really had to like take care of myself yeah. <laughs> and make sure I could like sing, which was yeah. Really yeah. I think people don't realize for singers how much you actually have to take care of your voice. I know, it was like so hard sometimes when everyone was like, let's go out, do this. And I was like, yes, yeah. I'll do so bad, but also so I will lose my voice and then we will be <laughs> do you have one of those? I don't know what they're called, like the. Oh yeah, super? yeah. I do that one. every single day. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Every I'm surprised day. you don't have it now. Yeah, I know. You're yeah, whipping <laughs> out. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's a bit of a ritual now. It's really annoying as well. You can hear the. <laughs> it's kind of funny as well because I feel like about this idea of like the music industry that like bands and like singers go so hard. No, it's like how? No. <laughs> it's like how? Is that yeah. Yeah. I don't know how Ozzy Osbourne did it. <laughs> it was really like eye opening as well. Like observing Justin on the tour as well. Like he is so like Justin is, is the, the singer, singer of the back scenes. Yeah. He is so like on it the whole time. I'm like whoa okay wait a minute <laughs> i thought i was doing kind of well like go, like only going about like something on it yeah he's like as soon as they get off stage like stealing warming down going to bed like just it's crazy you're crushing it i've never like, heard wow. i've not seen a warm down before i've seen a lot of warm ups but not really a yeah warm that's down. also apparently really important so, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 like 
20 cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like a beer. Yeah. This is not helpful. No, yeah. Definitely learned a lot. So I just wanted to know, looking towards the future, what you're looking most forward to, what's coming up and what you're looking excited for. I, I think yeah. I'm probably just looking forward to like writing more music and like yeah, definitely getting sure. more music out and doing more awesome cool shows yeah. from your fine friends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely excited to play some shows. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're playing, so is, today's the first show you're playing in a while. Since Foo Fighters. So, are you, how are you now? feeling? Weird. I'm a bit nervous, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, she might crush it because I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so it'll be like yeah. um, muscle memory. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. so. Yeah. And everyone's going to go, oh, Scarlett, we love you. You will do that. Oh, I'm curious to see if, um, like the fans will be so excited to see. Oh yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I feel like I cut off my hair. I'm like, where's Meg? So I have a bowl of porch cookies here. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this segment yet, but these are viewers submitted questions, and you open a cookie and you answer a question from a viewer. You pick wisely. Take your cookie salad. Oh my goodness! You get one song to cover for the rest of your life. What is it? I feel like we'll have different answers for this. Yeah. Surely. Well. Suspicious Minds. <laughs> yeah. 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 Life yeah. is a highway. Yeah. Life is a highway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, I'm kind of thinking like maybe Fernando. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Like, oh, you were sick about that. I am, yeah. but you know. <laughs> I'm sick of that song. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe like a really like like long song like um <laughs> like Bohemian Rhapsody like Sicko Mode. <laughs> so it's like, Sicko like, Mode. There's some diversity in there, and you can not get sick of it. Yeah, 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 I wonder if I love that. I actually love that song. So yeah, we're just yes. going out. <laughs> Mama by Jojo Siwa. Yes. 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 Okay. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. Hey. Thank you. So, so, so awesome. Um, but, like really stoked to have you on, and it's been really really fun. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, oh, um, oh do you guys want to eat that?